Look, it's our new home, Lyric. Yay! 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 Time to hear the baby's heartbeat. <laughs> okay, uterus is about the size I'd expect mm -hmm. for 16 weeks, so that's good. <laughs> the little one's alive! That heartbeat's pumping. Wow. Hearing that little heartbeat, Alyssa and I sort of just had to like pause for a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so it just makes it feel so much more real hearing that little thump. There's a little baby right now that's just exploded into the world. We get to be its parents. So good. So good. Love it. Love that we're going to be parents again. Little one in the womb, we can't wait to meet you. <laughs> what do you reckon it's going to be, boy or a girl? I'm kind of feeling boy, but that might be because I want a little, a little man in my life. I don't know. What do you reckon? What do you reckon we're going to have? All right, you've got your lunch pack packed, your shoes tied. Oh, no shoes. Oh, but look, you've painted your little nails. How lovely. Mummy looks care of you. Looks care? Looks care. Mummy takes care of you so well. Come on, ladies. Come on. Let's go. We're going on a little adventure. To the Batmobile. To the Batsmobile. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have an exciting day of going to look at camper parts. <laughs> and then after that, hopefully we'll be picking up the camper that we want to be decking out. Isn't that exciting? And Lyric, what's your thoughts if we go and pick up a Ford Transit van today? I just want my Minnie Mouse and my Dolly to be able to <laughs> We've been listening to this band called Citizens and Saints. Looks like a newer band to us and man, we are loving them. If we didn't have copyright reasons, I would just show you the whole song. But this is kind of a taster, we love it. Oh, I love it. All it is, is an electric guitar, a guy and a girl, and it's them just like pouring out their heart. I'm gonna put a, a link in the description below. Check it out, I bet you you will love it. Let me know what you think of it. Oh my lanta, four minutes away. Oh my lanta. Four minutes away from our possible next weapon of travel in Australia, Alyssa Rose. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm so excited. But maybe we shouldn't get too excited You're just right. because okay. we don't want to get our set hopes ourselves up. up and, for disappointment. Yeah, that's all right. We've already looked at two vans and I had to kind of just. It let... looks pretty good. It's probably going to be pretty good. You're pretty good. You're really good. I'm so excited. <laughs> the eagle has landed, aka we're here. And how cool is this? An old Millard caravan. This is like what we had before we came to America and we sold it. Pretty much to buy the RV. But look at this. Looks like about 20 foot long dual axle, dual entry points, one for the back one for the back room, one for the front. Man, I love these things. A little bit too heavy to tow though, that's my only concern with them, but onto the van. <laughs> I don't know if you can notice, but I'm driving an extremely sexy 
2005 2.4 litre turbo diesel weapon of travel exploration. I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm an extremely excited young man at the moment. So I'll give you a full tour when I get back home. Sound good? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this thing is an absolute treasure to drive, hey. I've never driven a manual six speed before, have you? Because they are such a cracker. Having that sixth gear, I feel like I'm doing about like one and a half thousand revs doing 90 kilometers an hour, which I don't know how to convert that. But man, this thing is so smooth. I love it. I can't believe it. I can't believe how much power a 2.4 litre diesel engine has with whatever mass this is. I think it's just under two ton. Awesome! The thing with this van build that I want to do differently is I want it to be really light. Whenever you kind of look online at the way that people have done transit vans or sprinter van rebuilds, they convert them into these like elaborate like they look like wood cottages or they look like a wood cabin on the inside and it looks awesome and it probably feels really nice to have that environment when you get back into the van but the only thing is I reckon you're adding like 500 kilos to the van and I don't think that helps so what I'm going to be trying to do is I do love wood so I'm going to be trying to use like small elements of wood but a lot of nice kind of fabric that might make it feel a lot more homely of, of course Alyssa she's got some cool ideas too so we're going to be combining a series of efforts for this this uh, conversion so man I'm pumped but I just can't get over it I can't get over how cool this thing is I've been wanting to do this kind of van conversion since I was a teen growing up surfing the coast of Australia it's like this is the ultimate car that you could have the outside looks like a normal kind of work van and the inside will be like a beautiful cozy space for the three of us to travel the coast of Australia and enjoy everything along the way so I'm like a kid in a candy store right now totally Loving it! Look at that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> oh, I love it. So this is the interior, this is the front of it. Very clean, very spacious. It's gonna be more than enough room for us, us punks. This is the, this is the back. Look at that. Look at this beautiful big opening here. It's just gorgeous. So it's called a mid wheelbase mid top. It's not a high top, it's not a long wheelbase, it's a mid. Hi. Yeah! Hi. Look, it's our new home, Lyric. Yay! All we've got to do is build a bed and a kitchen and put some flooring down and kind of make the uh, our walls on the roof look a little bit better and we're away! <laughs> and put a deep cycle battery in it and hook up a water pump and put a sink in and a fridge and oh my gosh there's a lot to do!